So an alternate approach that may be uh, something that, say, a Tom Gaynor would uh, propose is just study businesses that are good quality. And Buffett has this knack of making everything look very easy, but it actually isn't. And so maybe instead of doing what Buffett did in his early years, just study good businesses. And whenever you have a Brexit, you just buy those businesses and hang on to them. And obviously, you're not going to make 30% annualized returns. But for most people, you know, if you do it over 30 years, I don't need to make 30% annualized to do OK. Uh, what do you think of that approach? Fabulous. I think that's a great approach. I mean, if, if you can identify the field in which you, uh, the, the, if you can identify a field of securities that you think you understand and can value, right, then you can also identify the price at which they'll offer you the compounded rate of return that you're after, right? And that you think maybe you're entitled to. So, and what I mean by that is if uh, interest rates are 10%, you know, the demanded rate of return that you're gonna expect from the, from the investment is gonna be higher than if they're 2%. Right, but if, if you have a field of say, 25 businesses that have public equities associated with them, right, you can value those businesses, and then determine the price at which they're going to offer you the rate of return that that, that you think uh, you need to 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 make the investment. I think Buffett always used 15. You know, uh, I, I think now the size of his capital has dropped down closer to 10, but you know if uh, you're not operating with billions, then maybe 15 is the right number. But whatever that is, I, I think that's a, that's, a, that's a great strategy. 